Trey. And Marissa. And, and we, we are in... Split Croatia! <laughs> we took a road trip from Dubrovnik up to Split with a car that we rented from UniRent. Taking a road trip along the coast was a super awesome way to see how beautiful Croatia was. And Bosnia. Yeah. Because you go through Bosnia. We didn't know. We didn't. <laughs> We hiked up the stairs to Marianne, which is the national park here in Split, but up just a ton of stairs. I don't know, it's not that long. It's like a 10 minute walk up some stairs. You get to this panoramic view of Split. Within this park, you can do a ton of outdoor adventures and there's some cathedrals within the park and walking trails and hiking and kayaking and running trails, which I actually explored a little oh, yeah. bit of, which is really nice. And also off the end of the park, you can go to some rocky beaches. They aren't sandy beaches, but you can go lounge out on some rocks and enjoy the water. And that's where the locals go. palace walls including being right next to the Diocletian bell tower which is where everybody wants to be. They also are starting to do cooking classes there which they took us up to the top floor to see where they do the cooking classes and the view of the city was beautiful. It was incredible. Yeah. from Split to many of their islands, but we chose to take an overnight trip to Havar. So we just did a quick ferry ride to Havar and got there. We wish we had more time, so spend more time there if you can than just one day. complimentary breakfast. in there and spent the day there because the weather wasn't the best so we couldn't go out doing any of the adventurous type things. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any suggestions you might have for people visiting Split or Havar. All of our links will be down below as well as vegan travels so check those out and we will see you in the next destination. Bye!